God bless you. Thank you so much for tuning us, tuning in to us this powerful, very, very powerful this evening. Wherever you are. May the Lord bless you and bless you and bless yes. you mightily. Amen. Um, I have so many men of God that are watching, that are listening to us now. And first of all, I will honor and respect them. Prophet Frank Watry, my, my, my beloved brother, I salute you. Amen. And I ask that the Lord will bless you powerfully, Prophet. Um, I also want to salute uh, Prophet Amos Ousu, United Kingdom. God bless you. Amen. The song you were listening to is a brand new song that was just released yesterday by Eva K. 
Kimfu, Minister Eva Kimfu. Amen. She's in Ghana. Yes. Eva Kimfu, wherever you are in Ghana, God bless you. I'm yes, going to today. play your song again and again and again that the Lord will bless you. Amen. I want to welcome everybody to today's edition of the Miracle Service. And it's my prayer that indeed the, the, the word Miracle Service will be a powerful Miracle Service for you today. God bless you. Please share the video one more time. Share the video. Share the video if you have just joined us and welcome one more time. God bless you. My name is Bishop Kofiad on Timboaten. I am here with Reverend Derukotu Echampon and Elijah Boni. Ma Lizzie, God bless you. And Ashof Mami, uh, First Lady Ramadan Timboaten, God yes. bless you. Amen. Once again, this is Eva Minister Eva Kimfu. Her brand new song. That is the first time it has been played in America here. Eva, God bless you. Congratulations for the new release. God bless you. Eva Kifu, that is your song. God bless you. Nyanku It is very powerful. God bless you. I tell you welcome one more time god bless you welcome this is a brand new song from a beloved very beautiful wonderful lady called eva came from eva god bless you god bless you god bless you god bless you I salute you, Jumo Foster, Dennis. Jumo, God bless you. Thank you. My own brother, this man, if he's here, I will salute him. I will give him a rising ovation Amen. and i will take off my heart and salute him Pamina aidan my brother my beloved brother i love you more than i have told you i love you i love you more than i have shown you Pamina aidan i salute you this is your brother don't think what thing here god bless you what thing? god bless you for all the wonderful work you are doing Amen. in the things of god god bless you again and again and again Ora, Pamina aidan for the work you are doing for the body of Christ, you might never know, but the impact and the seed God is using you to sow in the body of Christ. Through you, many have been saved. Through you, many have known Christ. Amen. Through you, many are delivered. Through you, many are worshipping, lifting Christ and praising his name wonderfully and powerfully. Mr. Kwame Naidan, God bless you and thank you so much. God bless you, Radin Shawate. Jesus in Kutona, Yanita, and it's all ready. Obe 
Obeshua mi, Obeshua o, Obeshua elo. Mi si me she be ku me she mi fa. Tisa si kuto amu kwa amu kwa. Obeshua mi, Obeshua o, Obeshua elo. For all of you that are listening on the radio and for those of you who are watching on Facebook, we welcome you and we are very glad you are with us. Tonight, the Lord has laid a very powerful message on my heart. If you are watching, it is my prayer that you will be very blessed and be blessed powerfully in Jesus' name. Amen. Kamara, God bless you too. Nyanku Ponshira, God bless you. This is a brand new song from Eva Kimfo. Eva, your song is powerful. And this is a song that will touch every show that will listen. Yes. God bless you. Congratulations for releasing this brand new song. God bless you. What is your what? Please, if you are watching us, can you please share the video once again? I will play the song again. This is a brand new song from Eva Kimfo, Ghana. She's pretty. She's wonderful. Very gifted lady. Young lady. Very, very, very gifted. And I believe the Lord will take her very far. Hey, my dear, if you are watching, God bless you. Welcome once again. And can you please share the video so we can be a blessing to somebody else too? Please, listen to this. Do you, do you know that it is generally believed and it is normally on paper that everybody whose parents suffered a divorce before, the possibility of the person growing up to also suffer a divorce is great? Yes. There is a general belief that if your grandmother died from cancer, and your mother also died from cancer there is a possibility that you may also grow and suffer cancer there is a possibility that if your father used to smoke weed surely 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 you might also grow up and somewhere somehow you might also smoke weed this is a just a general belief there is a general conception in, in, in the things of the Bible and even in human life that oh her father used to smoke weed. Surely she will grow up, either she will smoke weed or she will actually fall in love with the boy who smokes weed because her father used to smoke weed. Something that your father suffered, something that your mother suffered, 
a case your father suffered a case your mother suffered it is usually generally believe that the fact that your father suffered that case your mother suffered that case it is generally believed that you also grow up and suffer the same your father finished nothing people generally believe so when papa people believe that your mother didn't live a worthy life any gracious life it is possible that her daughter might also not live a good life there is a scripture in uh, ezekiel 18 verse 1. today i want to speak to somebody very quietly patiently can you listen to me for that concept and the thinking and the belief that my father didn't get anywhere your father failed in life so it is possible that you might fail today in the name of jesus i want you to understand that that theory that belief that proverbs it has been cancelled in jesus name any case your father suffered any case your mother suffered you might not sue anything that is a curse or a yoke in your family today i am here to announce to somebody in the name of jesus that the curse of your parents the curse of your family the curse upon your family you shall not suffer that curse in jesus name god bless you welcome yes. The fact that your mother failed in life and the fact that your grandmother failed in life it doesn't mean you also feel minus you the fact that my father failed in life or my mother failed in life doesn't mean that i have to fail in life no 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 the devil is a liar no the fact that no black african has been able to be successful somewhere doesn't mean that you as a black person you will also not be successful minus you the fact that everybody from your family doesn't get married everybody from your family has a divorce everybody from your family is barren everybody from your family is failing everybody from your family is not making it doesn't mean that you should also bear the consequences of that case you minus you Messi the facts oh mommy and what didn't you say won't what you two were yes with him and no purpose of yours can be to what end me shabra kutani pansem me shabra kutawo asaf you are my god god will change your story please can you share the video and invite your friends to join us before so we can start God bless you. Welcome. Uh, Reverend Rita Manasseh, I salute the anointing upon you. God bless you. Some of us have been told that when we say we shame, we'll be at a wedding. Mm. Some of you have been asked, have you seen that this family, anybody has been to college? Have you seen this family, anybody has ever had a wedding? Because it is generally believed that your family, nobody can prosper. Nobody's son must go to college. Nobody's daughter must have a wedding. But you might assume. According to the scriptures, any handwriting of the devil against your family, it is cancelled. May say and try to be a bull. Some are trying to push you. I have to tell you one name. Ni a supreme team in a way. Yes, you demon. You demon. Yes, you demon. Can you please share the video so we can start? Missy, 
People generally believe that the fact that your parents married divorced, you will also grow up and surely you also go through a divorce. It is a lie. I cancel that in the name of Jesus. People generally believe that the fact that your parents could not make it in life. I call any papa ya sanseni. The fact that me me papa ya sanseni interesse. Me sabre da me swana wasa me ya sanseni. Me chumo Jesus Christ odimo. The fact that nobody from your family has ever made it does not mean that you must bear the curse of that family. You minus you. Elijah Bonnie, God bless you. Reverend Eriko to a champion. God bless you. Malizi, God bless you. Ramadan Timbuati. Yes. God bless you. Some of us people generally believe that the fact that your mother never got married and she has children, you will grow up and be the same. It is generally believed that the fact that your mother never married and she had children with different men, there is a possibility that you might live that life. Jesus. Today, I am here as a prophet to speak upon your life that the curse of your fathers, that the curse of your mothers Jesus. shall never be your portion. Amen. I say the curse of your fathers and the curse of your mothers Jesus. shall never be your portion. Amen. Can I get some amen from you? Free me. 
me more frosty person than my me. Me wanna watch the ninja dance in forest lands and yeah, oh hooray. This year from Western Asia, everywhere, 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 everywhere. And not in my ninja. If you are watching me tonight and for any reason there is any ancestral curse a curse from your fathers Amen. a curse from your mothers Amen. that has been pursuing your life Jesus. something from your ancestors Amen. something from your fathers seem to be pursuing you and fighting you preventing you from ever seeing the glory of God tonight if you are listening it is my prayer even as the Bible says, the anointing breaks the yoke. Any yoke of the devil, Amen. any ancestral curse, Jesus. any demonic curse, any curse from your fathers, any curse from your mothers that has pursued your family. Today, in the name of Jesus, it is my prayer that the Lord's presence will come upon you, cause you to be delivered and be set free, that the troubles of your mother shall not be your portion Amen. that the curse of your fathers shall never be your portion that you will walk in the glory and in the blessings of the lord in the mighty name of jesus something your mother suffered your mother died of heart attack your grandmother also died of heart attack today you in the name of jesus as long as christ jesus lives the curse of your fathers and the curse of your mothers shall never be your portion. You shall not suffer any ancestral curse. Amen. You shall not suffer any demonic curse. Jesus. Your fathers will not live life for you to bear the consequences of it. Amen. Today, that judgment of the devil against you, Jesus. that judgment of the devil against your Jesus. children, as long as Christ Jesus lives, that curse of the devil against you and your children, I cancel with the blood of Jesus. Please, can you share the video? This is also a brand new song from Obapa Christie. God bless you. some of us since the days we were born we have not known any other God beside Christ Jesus Amen. it is my prayer if you are watching me when you cry out unto God may the Lord answer you at the point of your need may the Lord be your fighter may he be your guide may he be a light in your darkness may the Lord bring deliverance unto you if there is any case against your family a curse that prevented your mother from getting married Amen. a curse that prevented your father from getting becoming successful 
today in the name of Jesus that curse of the devil against your life against your family Jesus. against your generation that curse in the mighty name of Jesus as long as Christ Jesus lives yes. that curse is broken yes. that curse is nullified yes. your children shall not suffer any ancestral yes. curse yes. you shall not want to suffer the curses of your father Amen. in the name of Jesus You are all very welcome to today's edition of the Miracle Service. I'm here tonight with Reverend Erukotu Echampo, Nikwe Elijah Boni. My name is Bishop Adon Tembuatin. Welcome. God bless you. If you're watching, wherever you are, God bless you. Welcome one more time. Can you please share this video? A sister is crying. A woman is crying. A father is crying. Why? Because the curses of his father, the curses of his mother, there are certain families that bear curses because your grandmother lived a life and left curses for us. Jesus. Your grandfather led a life. Your grandfather was a murderer. And today, because of the wickedness of your grandfather, the grandchildren, you don't even know who your grandfather was, but you are living a life and suffering the curses of your father. That is sad, huh? That is very sad, huh? A life your mother led so many years ago. Jesus. Today, you are, you are suffering the consequences of the actions of your mother because of the judgment against your family. Today, in the name of Jesus, that curse of your mother, that curse of your father, the judgment of the devil against your mother, in the name of Jesus, that curse shall be nullified in Jesus' name. Congratulations one more time 
for your brand new release song. God bless you. It's beautiful and powerful. Also, Frederick, turn the Bible to Ezekiel 18, verse 1. Ezekiel 18, verse number 1. The word of the Lord came to me. What do you people mean by quoting this proverb about the land of Israel? <laughs> Papa, li listen to what the Lord is saying. God is asking the people what do you people say that again god god said what he said what, what? do you people mean by quoting this proverb what do you people mean by quoting this proverb yeah well baby well how people to a bravo so i can say media to come there are certain proverbs when people say concerning you tell them i cancel that in the name of jesus so for read it go ahead ezekiel 18 verse 1 Ezekiel 18 verse 1 The word of the Lord came to me saying He came to me saying Why do you people mean by saying About the land That the parents are eating sour grapes And the children Teeth are set on the Papa, earth God is telling the, the Ezekiel The prophet Ezekiel To ask the people of Israel Why do people say That your parents are eating sour grapes And the children are doing what and the children are and the children's teeth are set on the I papa no ekodi ekodi anka dan kanichi masi asin afin fin wo ah how can your parent eat so graves how can your parent eat so graves for the children to suffer grinding teeth aden me mami nko di ankana na ankana ne no munya ne de nebe chire no ne masi ase mi papa nko di bone na bone ne chi no mama me kama to abara bo so se konue bia ne susu ma pam bia da wutre so no ana me die su moje twa mu fro so so for read that again sir Ezekiel chapter 18 verse number 1 the word of the lord came to me saying what do you people mean by quoting this proverb? What do you people mean by quoting these proverbs? That the parents eat sour grapes. The parents eat sour grapes. And the children's teeth and are the, set on the edge. And the children's, you know why? Because it is believed that the fact that your father, your parents divorce, there's a possibility that you two you go divorce. Your father died at 60 years, 50 years. Your grandmother also died around 50 years. Demonically, people believe that people are in, in our family. People are dying. Mama, you might not see you. If you say from your family, people rise up and rise up and at the end, their lives becomes a disgrace. You might not see you. The fact that your father suffered something, your grandmother suffered something, I refuse and I declare over your life Jesus. that what your parents suffered, you shall not suffer the same case. Oh, Papa, to me, could you born in my mimi, you want to change? Your parents cannot live a sinful life, a dirty life, a deadly life for you to come. That somebody says, This boy, his, his father was in jail, so he will grow up and also go to jail. I refuse it in the name of Jesus. The fact that your father went to jail, the fact that your father died prematurely, you shall never go to jail, your children shall never go to jail, and you shall never die prematurely in the mighty name of Jesus. They are saying that your mother divorced. Your mother had children without a husband. And it looks like you might also suffer the same. Today I stand in the name of Jesus. Jesus. What your mother did to suffer her problems, Amen. you have never done anything. And the case of your mothers, the case of your fathers, shall never become your portion in Jesus' name. So for read on for me, sir. Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 1. Ezekiel 18 verse 1. The word of the Lord came to me saying. The word of the Lord came saying what? What do you people mean? What by, do you people mean? By quoting this proverb. Uh -huh. About the land of Israel. That the parents eat so great. And the children's teeth are set on the edge. Also for read on sir. What do you people mean by quoting this proverb about the land of Israel? That the parents eat so grapes, And the children's teeth are set the, on the, edge. the bible is saying that it is believed in the proverbs that the lifestyle our parents live we are going to work in the cases so in south africa their parents pay
parents sold their lands to the white people and today their children are living in slavery because of the decisions of the fathers the bible is saying that that shall never be your portion the curse of your father shall never be your portion the curse of your mother shall never be your portion the curse of your grandfather shall never be your portion any ancestral curse you and your children and your household minus you any ancestral curse in your family any satanic curse any demonic curse any witchcraft curse that is operating in your family i declare by the power of the holy ghost you minus you minus you i said i refuse it over your life i cancel it in the name of jesus and then the curse of the devil in your family you and your children minus you also for go ahead sir ezekiel chapter 18 verse 1 uh-huh the word of the lord came to me saying what do you people mean by quoting this proverb about israel that the parents eat salt grapes and the children's teeth are set on the earth go ahead sir as surely as i live god said as surely as god lives Declare the sovereign law. Declare the sovereign Lord. You will no longer. You will no longer quote this proverb in Israel again. Oh my God! You will no longer quote this quote proverb. these proverbs again. Why? Because I, my father will not live a life. I will not live a lifestyle for my children to walk in the disgrace of my past. Any ancestral curse over your life any demonic curse over your family today in the name of jesus that curse that is operating your family it is cancelled minus you it shall not be quoted upon you that you are a failure it shall never be quoted upon your children that they are losers it shall never be quoted upon your family that you are a barren it shall never be quoted upon your family that you shall die prematurely i said this minus you this minus you this minus you this minus you in the mighty name of jesus go ahead so for as surely as i live declares the lord you will no longer quote this proverb you will no longer quote these proverbs on this land anymore why for everyone belongs to me for everybody belongs to god the parent as well as the children the parents also as well as the children we all belong to god both alike belong to me everybody belongs to god the one who sinned is the one who will die the one who sinned the one who sinned so the works of my father a devil a demon Jesus. cannot tell you Amen. your father came and borrowed money from me so i am sending a credit card company to take you to court i refuse it in the name of jesus the credit card company if your father is dead cannot sue you in the court of law demanding that because your father took a credit card long time after he's dead they said they are coming after you Tofia kwa. Tofia kwa. Tofia kwa. i cancel and i refuse any yoke any bondage yes. any ancestral curse over your family tonight in the name of jesus it is breaking right now any ancestral curse against your family tonight in the name of jesus that curse it is breaking now it is breaking now it is breaking now it is breaking now in the name of jesus I see things happening around you. Those cases from your past, those cases from your parents, those cases from your parents, those cases from your family. Right now, I see them breaking. Right now, I see them breaking. Right now, I see them breaking. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I'm 
There are some families when you come from there, you will never prosper. But today, that case, I cancel it. There are some family when you come from there, you will go forward, you will come back. No matter who you are, you will grow up and become a drunkard. No matter who you are, you will grow up and you become a homeless person. That curse over your family. As long as Jesus Christ lives, that curse tonight, it is cancelled. It is cancelled. It is cancelled. It is cancelled in the name of Jesus. please if you are listening or watching me on facebook or on the radio and for any reason you look back in your life you examine your family and you realize that there is a peculiar curse or there is something sinful that is fighting against your family your children look at what happened to your father Look at what happened to your mother. Look at what happened to all your sisters. All your sisters, nobody is married. All your children, everybody is not working. You can tell there is something peculiarly following or going on in the family. Jesus. It will be called a curse. Today, I stand in the name of Jesus, Jesus. to declare over your family Amen. and over your life. Yes, Lord. Any reason for any demon or devil to curse you Jesus. today, by virtue of the blood of Jesus, Amen. the case against your family yes. has been cancelled. There is no cause for you to be judged by a devil, there is no cause for you to be judged by a demon. Amen. Why? Because the pronouncement of the judgment of the devil against you has been nullified. The pronouncement of the judgment of the judgment of Satan against you has been cancelled. There is now therefore no condemnation. There is now therefore no condemnation. So any condemnation whatsoever, because of what your father did, your mother did, any ancestral case. 
that is fighting against you not to marry any ancestral case that is fighting against you not to prosper Amen. any ancestral case that is being a hindrance an obstacle a mountain before you today the mountain has become a level ground Amen. today in the name of jesus the mountain has become a level ground jesus. the obstacle has been leveled Amen. and by virtue of the grace and the anointing of the lord jesus. whatever the lord has said concerning your life in the name of Jesus, Jesus. it shall come to pass Amen. because the curse of the devil against you has been cancelled. That is what the Bible says in Colossians 2, verse 14. He said, Any negative thing that was written by the devil against you, any inscription whatsoever the enemy wrote against your family, against your children, against your descendant, in the name of Jesus, what they wrote against your family, it has been cancelled. Now you shall prosper. Now you shall see the full glory of God. Your parents will not live a life for you to bear the consequences. I refuse that. I cancel that. I nullify that. You shall walk in the blessings of God. You shall walk in the blessings of God. You shall walk Walk in the blessings of God. Can I get some amen from you? The fact that your parents were poor doesn't mean that you shall grow up to be poor. The fact that your parents divorced doesn't mean that you shall grow up and also have a divorce today i cancel and i refuse that from your life in the name of jesus any curse that has been sequential any curse of the enemy against you that has been sequential today in the name of jesus the curse of the enemy against your family i cancel i refuse it in the name of jesus you know how somebody said because your 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 sons or your daughter's father went to jail his son now all black american men are in jail and their children will also be in jail i refuse it i refuse it i refuse it in the name of jesus any curse against your clan any curse against your family the fact that you did not marry and you had children all your children will marry and settle down in marriage in prosperity and in fruitfulness in the name of jesus the fact that your father was cursed your mother was cursed doesn't mean that you should also be cursed and the satanic curse against you and the demonic curse against you in the name of jesus today that curse of the double against you i cancel and i refuse it in the name of jesus you shall walk in prosperity Amen. you shall walk in the glory of god you shall walk in the favor of god jesus. you shall walk in the blessings of god Amen. you shall walk in the anointing of god jesus. you shall walk in the fruitfulness of god Amen. i know you will marry sure you will marry yes. i know you will prosper yes. surely you will prosper Amen. i know you will have children jesus. surely you shall receive it any ancestral case against you jesus. i cancel and I nullify in the name of Jesus. Please 
please can you share the video and deliver a sister or brother to can you share the video and deliver a brother or sister to please I just saw God finger pointed somebody. I just saw God finger pointed somebody. Say you, surely, in your family nobody has prospered, Jesus. but I will cause you to prosper. Amen. Nobody is married in your family Jesus. but you. You will ma you have a big wedding. Nobody's daughter or son has been to college, yes. but you, your children, all of them shall go to college. Nobody has married and had babies in the family, but you, Sarah. Sarah, yes. Sarah, yes. you shall see your Isaac. Yes. You shall see your Isaac. Amen. You shall see your Isaac. Sometimes you sit down and you look back in your family. You look at your brothers. You look at your sisters. You look at the entire family. And everybody seems to be suffering some some of a curse. Something is not right. Amen. But you, 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 you. So for read the scriptures again. Ezekiel 18 verse 1. All the way to 3. Read on, sir. Ezekiel 18 verse 1. Ezekiel 18 verse 1. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, what do you people mean by quoting this proverb? What do you, be, God is saying, what do you people mean by quoting this proverb? There are certain things that fit everybody, but you, it doesn't fit you. There are certain things that fit everybody, but you, it does not fit you. The fact that this description fits every black man, the fact that this description fits every African man, as for me, it doesn't fit me. I am born to be blessed. You are born to be great. You are born to be mighty. You are born to prosper. You are born not to be a minor. You are born not to be cheap. You are born not to be poor. You are born blessed. You are born feathered yes. you are born anointed yes, you are born prospered yes. you shall multiply Amen. you shall increase Amen. you shall less fun yes. from day to day you shall prosper yes, all the things your hand finds to touch yes, it shall prosper yes, in the mighty name of yes. jesus jesus whether you feel what i feel but the curse of your ancestors is no longer over your life that burden that yoke that bondage that weight you have always carried in the name of jesus that yoke that burden that bondage is no more it's no more you are delivered and you are freed you are delivered and free If anybody for any reason because of something that has been going on in your family Jesus. 
they are looking at you as an underdog let them get ready you are about to surprise them god is about to do something in your life your enemies will be shocked I said, God is about to do something in your life. Your enemies will be shocked. Why? Because he is the I am. Also for the read, read the scriptures for me one more time. Ezekiel 18 verse 1. The word of the Lord came to me saying, What do you people mean by quoting this proverb in the land of Israel? That the parents eat saw grapes and the children's teeth are set on the edge. Mm -hmm. as surely as I live, declares the Lord Almighty. You will no longer quote this proverb again. You will no longer quote, quote this Papa, there, there are certain names. You will not do anybody for you. Know. And you will do no. Oh, here you go. Me chum. That name shall never, that name shall never be quoted anymore. Jesus. That name shall never be quoted anymore on the land. Oh, yes, Lord. That is not your portion. Amen. Your portion is not poverty. Your portion is no longer to be an underdog. Jesus. People cannot look down upon you. Amen. People cannot look down upon you. Yes, I said people cannot look down upon you. People, people, people yes. will not look down upon you anymore. Amen. I refuse to look at you as an underdog. Jesus. You are a hero, Amen. a champion, Amen. blessed, yes. anointed, yes. anointed, yes. prospect, champion Amen. killer, champion killer, Jesus. the God who took nothing. Turn it around yes, and glorify his name out of it and call him David as a king. That is who you are serving. You shall no longer suffer the curse of your ancestors anymore. The people that have called you names, you they will see you and lower their heads. And the banner will move someone still one. On the who is from a trust, and will yes, you can so demo. Am I talking to you? Who am I prophesying to? Who am I prophesying to? Who am I prophesying to? So your mother didn't marry and they are expecting that you also never have a wedding. You shall have a, the greatest wedding in your family in Jesus' name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your father never prospered. They thought you shall not prosper. Your father's curse, your father's bondages, your mother's bondages, your mother's curse shall never, ever, 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 ever be your portion in Jesus' name. I said your father's curses, your mother's curses shall never be your portion in the name of Jesus. I don't know who I am prophesying to, but all that I see is that lives are turning around. Curses are breaking now. Cases are breaking now. Yokes are breaking now. The Lord is setting somebody loose. The Lord is setting somebody free. The Lord is setting somebody loose. The Lord is setting somebody free. Receive it. 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 Oh.
I am prophesying once again over somebody whose family is suffering a curse. A curse that you know your sister is suffering. Jesus. Your big sister is suffering. Amen. You are suffering. But today, there is a scripture in First Chronicles 12 verse 32. It says the children of Issachar, the children of Issachar understood, understood the times, the times in, the in the season. Today, the season of your fathers, the season of your mothers, the season of your parents, they are over. A chum, a chum, a chum. You will marry. Yes, Lord. You will prosper. Amen. That's in him. Shriwa Kimfo. If I Kimfo, God bless you for your new song. It's so powerful. It's so powerful. God bless you. The curses of your parents, the curses of your fathers shall never ever 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 be your portion yeah your family nobody is ever going forward but you today i speak over your life in the name of jesus Amen. you shall throttle you shall run not just that yeah shall you fly the bible says first chronicles 12 verse 32 it said the children of Issachar understood they understood the time, the time and the season mama one more cross in your mano and you will have water the curses from your father the curses from your mother that curse that ancestral curse that family curse your family suffers today i am prophesying over your life in the name of jesus that curse that curse you Minus you, minus you, minus you, minus you, minus you, minus you. Minus you. Minus you. Minus you. Nobody got money from your family but you. They will witness your wedding. What? Nobody is ever rich from your family. But we are going to start counting from you. You are going to be the first person in your family. Remember, Joseph was the first person to step in Egypt. Amen. And because of Joseph, everybody from the family also came to Egypt. Yes, yes, Mama, yes, yes, yes. you, you will be the number one. Number one. Nobody has gone wedding before. Yes. You will be number one. Yes. Nobody shouldn't has ever been to the university, but your children shall prosper. Amen. Your children shall be ministers and be great people. Amen. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it for Jesus Christ your demon. Prophetess Alexis say, I salute the anointing over your life. Reverend and Sir, I salute the anointing over your life. God bless you. Mm. 
those demons that were trying to relate you to your past today all of them may fire catch them in the name of jesus every ancestral curse with any satanic demonic monitor that is trying to attach that curse of your fathers to you may the fire of the holy ghost burn them in jesus name Ayamidasa <laughs> I salute the anointing over your life, my great brother and a friend, Prophet Mark Aban. God bless you. Share your story. Usually within the black African community, it is generally believed that the cases of my fathers, the cases of my family, is like a gown which I am wearing. It is generally believed that any sin, any case of your fathers, is part of you. Today I stand as a prophet of God and I declare over your life and your future, over your children, over your entire household, that you shall not suffer the curses of your past. That is not your portion. You shall not suffer the curses of your parents, of your family, of your ancestors. You shall not walk to suffer the curses of anybody. Those who see shall die of their sin, but you shall not bear the consequence of any sin. As so you shall not live to bear the consequences of any sin. Any curse from your father, any curse from your mother, Jesus. any curse from your parents, Amen. that is against you. In the name of Jesus, I cancel it now. I cancel it now. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus, what your father could never get to, you shall get it. Yes, what your mother never got, Jesus. you shall get it. Amen. Your mother never made it. You will make it. Yes. Your father never made it. Yes. You will make it. Amen. Your father never prospered. Yes. You shall prosper. You shall pro. Oh, your mother never yes. had a wedding. Yes. Yes. Your mother never had a wedding. Yes. But you shall be celebrated as a wife. Yes. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. I see curses breaking now. I see curses from your fathers, curses from your family. As I speak now, Labo Santa Rabayabe. I see the curses breaking. Can you receive it? Can you open your life? Refuse to be under the curse of your fathers. Refuse to be under the curse of your mothers. Today you are a different person. The Bible said the children of Issachar, they understood the time and the season. No, the season has changed. The time has changed. The season has changed. The time has changed. You are different. 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 Receive it. Receive it. Receive it.
I don't know whether you feel what I feel here. I don't know whether you see what I see here. But the curse that has always followed you, that stronghold, that stronghold, by virtue of the word of the Lord, as the Bible said in John, he says in the beginning was the word, and this is your beginning. Receive your beginning. You shall no longer live under the curse of your fathers. You shall no longer live under the curse of your mothers. You shall no longer live under the curse of your past. You are blessed. You are delivered. You are saved in the name of Jesus. All the boundaries are breaking now. All the limitations are breaking now. Yeah, 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 the devil had some time with Job. But remember, it never stayed forever. I know you have suffered. I have suffered. I have suffered dearly. And I know you have suffered. But through it all, I thank God that God remains good. Today, I declare and I speak in the name of Jesus over your life. You shall not fall anymore. You shall not lo you shall not walk with your head lowered. As the Bible said in Psalm 3, hey, the Lord we serve, He is the lifter, He is the lifter, He is the lifter of our head. You shall no longer walk in shame. You shall no longer walk in shame. You shall no longer walk as a slave. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. And you mean something, my boy? Nini na wunim power the chile power. This is from Dinah Hamilton. You were just listening to Obapa Chris's latest. Ah, Eva Kimful also is out with the brand new song. Eva Kimful, my beautiful girl. God bless you. What's in your mishrao? I know the devil is working overnight. The devil is working graveyard hours to make sure that you will never feel positive about yourself. Yeah. Your father sent. Yeah, yeah. He took a credit card Jesus. and he didn't pay. Amen. And you know, since my husband died, the creditors are here to take my children. I refuse to serve the curse of my fathers. Amen. That is what I'm speaking over your life. Today I point my finger directly to you and I declare over your life you shall not live under the curse of your fathers. You shall not live under ancestral curse. I refuse that. I break that and I nullify that in the name of Jesus. You are working as a champion. That is why you are called a born again. A born again means that all things are new. The curse of your fathers, the bondages of your past, even the wrong of your past yes, you are delivered yes. you are freed yes. you are blessed Amen. you are blessed Amen. you are blessed Amen. you are blessed Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus 
Prophet Richard Parker, I salute the anointing over you, Papa. Boko. The reason why Joseph's brother sold them, let me tell you a secret. The reason why Joseph's brother sold them, because every morning, Joseph will wake up and tell them I had a dream. I dreamt and saw myself as a champion. I dreamt and I saw myself as a millionaire. I dreamt and I saw myself as a minister. But in the family, there was no ministry for anybody to become a minister in the family there was no goal for anybody to become a millionaire in the family there was no kingdom for anybody to become a king so when joseph was telling his brothers i had a dream i had a dream remember jacob even though jacob was blessed let us be frank because of what jacob did against his brother esau even though jacob was blessed I want to be frank with you. Jacob, because of his sins, he was still working under some curse. And all his children, his wife died. Joseph's mother died. Rachel also died. Jacob was suffering. All his children could do was to become shepherd. And one obiaye, and you ma obiaye ni enyi na ye pe papi patole so. But Joseph said, I had a dream. I had a dream. In my dream, I saw myself as a prime minister. They say, hey, why is a ministry here that you're going to be a prime minister? Amen. Have you seen anybody here as a minister? Joseph said, I'm going to be a king. They say, hey, have you seen anybody in this family? Yes, Do you know any kingdom here? Uh -huh. Preach on. Mama, yes. when your mindset, when your thinking, Amen. when your vision, Jesus. when your dream is better than them, they will hate you but even the more the enemies try to destroy you the more god pushes you closer to your miracle the more they try to destroy you the more they try to bewitch you the more they try to accuse you the more they try to attack you or condemn you the more the more the more the lord pushes you closer and closer and closer to your miracle i don't know how much you have suffered I don't know how much pain you've been through. Jesus. I don't know what shame you have experienced. I don't know what condemnation they have condemned you. But my dear, your pains are excruciating. Your insults are bad. Your tears have lasted. But remember, as the Bible said, tears may only endure for a moment. Amen. Your pain. So, Job. He suffered. Oh, Job, Job. Yeah, he suffered. But the Bible said, Job 42 verse 12, but the latter days of Job became better than the former days. Today you are declaring a prophesy over your life. May your tomorrow, may your future, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, you will not die, but you shall live in all these years, and everything the Lord has said concerning you, it shall be better, it shall be better, it shall be better, it shall be better, you shall be better than your your, your sisters, you shall be better than your family, you shall be better than your countrymen, you shall be better than everybody, that is who you are, that is who you are, that is who you are, press on, move forward, you are blessed, you are blessed, you are blessed. I don't know whether you know how blessed you are, but you are blessed. Today, I am declaring that your marital ring, your wedding ring, you know, you are the best one. So what? My God. I said, Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus. 
you will never be put to shame you will never die prematurely you will never be disgraced yeah you shall never go to jail yeah your father was in jail your father was cursed but you shall no longer walk under the curse of your fathers you shall walk in prosperity and in the holiness of god receive it for yes to christ to be more Obi bia wa pe no wan se me bia na no aka no mi ato so ene se Yesu ti ase nti no mi bia ya ka to abra bo so bia no sa no me no me bo na Daniel ko ni pakko ni tire so e wo Yesu Christo ndi o pe ne mugu ase ma wo ndi o pe ya de ma wo ndi o pe wo hia ma wo ene mugu ase mu tu ni tire disa kura ba e wo Yesu Christo di mo Asama me pesa me catch on yano so we be be any word in what to about this room. I me but there man in the me guess mama. O papa and so many men are so papa no me dan so a wo e bi me to with three suda. O mama bo bra basa basa jamai chrono e kunku ni pa wo wo ne wasi for san no me fi o mama mo so no e bi ma o suda biara da e wo ye sudi mo. As I speak now, spiritually, spiritually, wherever no Papa, God bless you for your latest. Me, me, kasa se se no. Me unu se. Enko fu ti mi anu mi damusu fimu na na nomso. Ebra me kasa se se no. Me unu se anu mi e wuro fu enko fu unu tisa tadi. Me unu se anu mi e wuro wuro fu enko fu unu tisa tadi. Enu mugi asio se ye konyo se ye yavio se amaniyo. Your mother died from cancer, but you shall never die from cancer. Your father died from cancer, but you shall never die from cancer. Jesus. Your mother had a divorce. You shall never go through divorce. Receive it. You are blessed. Today I declare instead of a curse, you are blessed. Instead of a curse, you are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed for yesterday morning. I see the chains over your hands and the chains over your legs. I see them falling off. Me unu se kunu ebi ane chichiri wunsa kunu ebi ane da wunano. Me unu se and nam Christo adumne na basa so and we shrining tino sa kunu ano sa no meno sa wo se yano e jigu se se ya e jigu se se ya e jigu se se ya. 
That is why the Bible said in Psalm 3, verse 3. Yes. He said, The Lord our God. Yes, yes, yes. He is the lifter of our heads. Oh, yeah. Everybody, and the year you trip page up for. Ah. Everybody, or not. Anna or ye ye three page for ever the more time for the moon. Yes, Marco, 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 Yes. No witch, yes. no demon, yes. but prosperity and graceness, Amen. greatness shall be your portion. From today, yes. from today, Amen. your life yes, is changed Jesus. forever. If you are watching, tomorrow is Wednesday. I'm in America. I know it's Tuesday and it's Tuesday evening around 549. If you are watching, please listen to this prophetic direction. Tomorrow, Wednesday, we shall be here on the radio around the same time at 4 p.m. Yes. The Lord is leading me to tell you to bring olive oil, anointing oil, any oil. Let us come together and agree and pray over it. We are all going to pray over it in the name of Jesus after the word. I'm telling you, whatever your faith will lead you to do, use the oil to do. As long as Christ Jesus lives, be by virtue of the anointing. David, not too long ago, he was the last born in the house of Jesse, his father. David's father had so many children. David was the last one, but he was the last unwanted born. Why? Because his father went out of his marriage and had David, and they brought David to the father. So anytime the father saw David, it was an uncomfortable situation. Every day, David will be sent to go to be a shepherd. Mm -hmm. Until one day, one day, until one day, uh -huh. the prophet Samuel, Jesus. First Samuel 16, uh -huh. God said, God. How long shall you continue to worry yourself over King Saul? I have taken my hands away from him. Go to the house of Jesse and anoint one of his sons. I will show you to become the next king of Israel. Tomorrow, please bring your olive oil. Yes. By this time, the oil will be on fire. But as long as Christ Jesus lives, your life will be a full turnaround in Jesus' name. Let me take some calls. You know what? You can call me 703 436 2994. You can call me 703 
0302-436-2994. I'm here with Elijah Boni Nikwe. Reverend Erukutuwe Champong, my name is Adonteng Boateng. God bless you. Let me take a call. Hello? 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 Are you there? Hello? Hello? Uh, hello? Hey, you're frozen. Hello? Hello, we match your frozen. We match your family, Rose. Rose, na I didn't have a question. I'm afraid I'm afraid. I'm afraid I'm afraid. I'm afraid I'm afraid I'm afraid I'm Texas. Texas. I'm afraid 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 i am and you may cause me bono a twat may can change ya. But the edi can say, me ba a yarrow a land my young my test will cry about that. And to one my assurance, no, say, oh, best sorry. Oh, call ya, oh, how I send yam 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 me me Ukuna, my bomb pie, Cassia man is a bade bashano soa geno. Because baby Ukunu dano, a critical. Mammy bomb pie, I say. And was ra, and you may a wall line soa, would be a feminine, sang wa, or betumono. If I don't fight and won't so, and find you Ukunu, and free will wound you, say ye be a more yes to Christ. Amen. The vampire said, If I did by Geno, no, what Geno crack, 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 Amen. Yami ni pa me dawa se. Me se me pa o chao. Papa no wa gana. Bibi o wa esa me kachire na na. E fi a e ti mo no. 2012. O ma o she mkombi. Ye si fi a ni akofa ni wafasi a beti ne fi a o. Wafasi ni beti ne fi a o. Kwa jie bo som. Sa a be she fi a o. Inti. O ni an nom o ma me ma o no a ti fi a o no. Ba ma ba akon abodam. Ba akon ya hat attack. O mi ni a tu e fi fi a o. Ba akon abodam o ti bo la so. Ana uche uche mko bise mikunu kwa wadi na kwe dresi ope so kunu. Na so ena mpae bwa ubo mami wa usape ya lai nse ya amna mfre wo. Ena papa na dasu ti asye. Eti medawase. Na aboye no so wadasu ti fie ho. Eti misle radi se radi nye sansa nchile ni biwa sa aboye na brabo mna oma mikunu nyani freedom. Mama, me bon paye mama wa pane bela wako tina gana no se ebade en shana so ebade anano ye boni din bon paye wadi o jie eni en kwantu wa pane suwa mama ne wuno ebade yini fina tamfun se mna obibi wa obetu bibi wa susu mabana so no me bona me bona dani ama na kono suwa yesu kristu dimu amen 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 nyami shira o nyami nipa and then in my dear, in my case, I will hear my way. I brought him and and that he said the man you're good. Thank you so much. God richly bless you, amen. Okay. You can call me 703-436-2994. Please don't forget tomorrow. Don't forget tomorrow, please try and bring your oil. Tomorrow, try and bring your oil. Please tell a friend, invite somebody to join us. Yes. This is life. This is not recorded. Everything is life. God is on the move to bring a change to somebody's life. Yes. God bless you.
Christians today, we must witness the supernatural power of God in our lives. Otherwise, people are thinking there is no God. Don't forget tomorrow at 4 p.m. we shall be here live with more fire. Woo! Please, you can call me 703 436 2994. If you are outside America, you must dial 001 703 436 2994. But while you call, remember tomorrow, everybody invite your friend and your children to join us with your olive oil. There's going to be a powerful miracle and anointing service tomorrow from 4 p.m. to same time. Was he a radi em play em mawa town for em for one yet a hanam em mawa mosha? Oh my God. You know one thing I'm just saying now. Some of you, when you join the line, when you join us on Facebook Jesus. and on the radio, it was as if there was a dark clothing that was has covered all over you. As I speak now, by virtue of the anointing, Amen. right now, you are shining like a star. You are glowing like a diamond. Oh my God. The Lord, through his word, Oh my God, has touched somebody. Somebody who was walking with your head lowered. I noticed that by, by virtue of his grace, you are lifted. You are jumping. You are limping. You are praising and you are celebrating because the curse, the yoke, the bondages are all broken and you are free. You are free. You are free. You are free. Amen. Mete me ni mi sufre mi Yehova Mi kunto sera mi di ma baneni mo Vago bi a po mi o bi she she me kere chi kwai Na su unya mi when i ku me ho da 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 O di da when i ku me ho da bi a o I am just so happy for you oh my god Don't forget tomorrow at 4 p.m. same time. Prophetically, I am asking you, go get olive oil. Let us all come together and pray over it. Use it anyhow. Your faith directs you. But whatsoever you shall use it for, it shall never lie. You shall receive an amazing, spectacular, wonderful miracle that you never, ever, Ever believe the Lord will do for you, but who bring us some? And the mugi asiana ye ye ente no. Ese se e wase o nyami ye bibi kesi e paramo. God bless you. My name is Bishop Adon Timboating. I am here with Reverend Derukutu at Champong and Elijah Boni. I am going to end here because tomorrow 4 p.m. we shall be back. Get your oil. Get your oil, and don't forget December 29th, 30th, and 31st December. We're going to have a super big convention in Virginia here. Please, everybody that is listening or watching, 
I'm inviting you to this convention. This this should be the last three days of 2018. A full deliverance, a full anointing service every day for the next three days before 2019. I'm inviting you. Be there and your life will never be the same. My time is up. I got to go. But before I go, can I tell you this? I kept it away from you. This is a secret. I love you. And I love you deep. And I pray that because of the love from my heart for you, may the Lord always show you favor. May the Lord show you his grace. May you prosper. Among your family, may you be different. May the Lord deal with you differently. May you prosper. May your prosperity be a testimony unto the greatness of God. In all things, be a conqueror. You are blessed. You are blessed. Amen. You are blessed. And no demon, no devil, no Satan, no witch, no witch with the hex, no devil with the principality or any power shall bring you down. You are blessed and you are blessed forever. I love you. That's him much. They were careful. God bless you. I love you. I love you. I love you, child. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Yami Shrawo. for your commendable, exemplary, and dedicated service to the Virginia State Police Department, Fairfax County Sheriff Department, and Franconia Police Department, we say thank you for handling each emergency with uncompromised competence and integrity, for using courage and compassion 
and for providing such a meaningful service to us all. No duty is more urgent than that of returning thanks. That is why Divine Word Ministry and the Faith Community is organizing an annual Faithful Servant Award on the 27th of October, 2018 at 7 p.m. And venue is 5000 Seminary Road, Alexandria, Virginia. We thank you for your devotion, dedication, and hard work in our communities. You are indeed America's finest. We salute you.